This video will focus on why woofers burn. Why they go up in smoke, why you let the magic smoke out of them, why they get torched beyond belief, why you melt the fucking aluminum, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm also gonna use this platform as a, an opportunity to promote uh, the batch of coils that we just got in. These are, we're rating them at single two ohm. Uh, the 80 millimeter wine height. Uh, I think total length, I think is six or six and a half. I can't remember uh, as far as inches goes. Typically form height is measured in inches and then the rest of it is measured in millimeters. Uh, unless you're talking to the um, Precision Econowine guys and then they do everything in uh, standard, which is bullshit and waste of time because the rest of the world use metric. So use metric. And when you're sending me gap dims and things like that, use metric because virtually everything that was made anyway was made in China or somewhere outside of the United States. So, and again, it's the metric system. Once you learn how to use it, it's fucking easy. And you're, you'll, you'll ask yourself the same question. Why are Americans so stubborn? Well, you, you figure that out for yourself, but really quick, the, the basic reason why coils burn is they get too hot. Now that sounds a little silly, uh, but that's actually the truth. So what happens is when it's centered in there like that, the more time that it spends out of the gap, either this way or this way, this thing is gonna get hot. So coils, if you put a DC uh, current to it, you know, direct current, uh, it'll get hot. If you put an AC current, it'll get hot, which is basically what a toaster oven is. It's just a, a resistive piece of filament. Uh, you know, this one has a resistance of uh, 2.6 DCR, ID of 76 and a half and OD of 79 and a half uh, and then an 80 millimeter wine height. So th these are, I believe, copper. Yeah, copper. And uh, even if it's Chinese copper, it's fine. Even if it's steel or nickel, you can make them all kinds of stuff because this wire is enameled. So the magnetic gap only looks at how many windings are in the gap, right? Okay, so in th and this thing also, if you look at BL, what BL is, if you look at the BL curve, the most BL strength is when it's centered. And you'll see the most BL, especially on a coil this long, in about one inch linear. It'll have a lot of BL because that's the most windings it'll have in the gap. BL starts to get weaker as it gets towards the end of the stroke, right? And that's what LMS is. LMS has more windings here, more windings here. But back to my original thing. Uh, the other thing is that coils are not rated for power. Anybody that rates them in power either doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about or is lying. So either way, they're just trying to uh, uh, bait you into buying their coils as if their coils are magic. Also, there's no such thing as a magic coating. I don't care if it's diamonds. Uh, you want this, this coil to breathe. You want it to be able to get rid of the heat really, really well and get as much air circulation around it. That's why some manufacturers will actually vent the pole piece again, to keep this piece of steel cool. Uh, sometimes they'll, they'll vent the sides and all that kind of stuff of the top plate again, to keep it cool. Uh, this one we chose, uh, this one's actually a, a modification of a, uh, was, I think this is the, yeah, this is the um, Majestic uh, two and a half inch kind of piece of shit, uh, 12 inch. And one of them shifted. And so then I had this bolted on, which is this pull piece. And then I put stacked on four big magnets and then a two piece top plate and zap the whole fucker and now it's awesome. So, but that's the only reason why coils burn is when they're out of the gap. And then it also has to do with ambient temperature. Here in Arizona, it gets fucking hot in a car. And so, I mean, it, on this scale, it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal, but especially um, the amplifiers were thermal, typically at, um, what is it, 85C, which is like 200 and something, uh, no, it's not even to it. It's like 185 uh, F, uh, which is Fahrenheit. Um, is typically when the, the little either a peppy fuse or or some sort of um, thermal coupler device, uh, which is really just a, a, a circuit breaker. Uh, when the piece of metal gets hot inside of it, it disconnects and turns off the amplifier. So that's again, that's just another device that's within the amplifier. So, but guys, you don't have to make this too difficult. But, so the other thing is, is that. Uh, you know, they say that distortion or, or a square wave is causes uh, subs to blow, which is not fully true. 
Okay, so you can set your amp into clipping on the input or the output and then turn the volume down low and it'll actually do fine all day long, even with clipping. So it's not that clipping kills it. It's, it's too much time out of the gap. I'll say that because I don't want to talk about power. I don't want to talk about voltage or anything like that because it really doesn't fucking matter. What really matters is how much time the coil spends outside of the gap. And then you also have to look at other features, physical features, such as surface area, uh, thermal mass, how much, uh, what, what the material's made of. Copper has a much higher thermal mass than aluminum. Um, copper is also better at heat sinking um, and, get, and moving. It's a better conductor um, uh, electromagnetically. In this case, it's a thermomagnetic. Uh, I don't know if that's a real thing, but basically it's, um, yeah, no, that, that is a real thing because it, it has to do with uh, temperature and how quickly heat transfers across it. Like if I took a hot, like say a uh, welding rod and I started welding here, how quickly is the heat gonna spread to the other side of the top plate if I'm welding here? And steel is a really good heat conductor. Copper is a really good one. Aluminum is okay. What happens is it has a bunch of losses and it's good at dispersing heat, but I don't wanna get into that. It's, it's so It depends on what your application is and what you're trying to do, so. But back to burning coils. Um, all right, so temperature. All coils are rated the same, which is by temperature, which is about 500F, that's it. Um, when they make coils, there's two ways to bake them. So they coat them in a coating. In this case, sometimes sometimes the coating is just spray paint, right? China is like, oh, you stupid Americans. You, you want black colored coils? Psh, 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 psh. And they just spray paint them. Uh, and you can do that just by getting some acetone and then rubbing it and see if it comes off. So um, other times it is some sort of black coating. What it really started out as at, at, at PE was some coils got cooked too long, baked too long. And there's two ways to bake them. There's one in an autoclave, which is a very precision oven. Uh, the other way is by hooking them up all in series parallel uh, to a circuit and then getting them hot. And then you control the voltage depending on what temperature you want them to bake at. And it's it's actually pretty accurate. It's pretty, it's, and it's a cheaper way to go. And it takes up less space. Um, it, it uses a lot more electricity, but um, again, it depends on what your restraints are when you're manufacturing these. So, but I hope that answers your questions. Um, it's not clipping, it's not power, it's, it's how much time the coil spins out of the gap. Uh, back to clipping real quick. Uh, I, le I learned this a long time ago. What happens is when a signal gets clipped, it's a square wave. And all that energy, let me show you on the fucking diagram. Let me go with this thing like, ah. So here's your sine wave. And when a square wave looks like this, We'll say same, same, same voltage. Actually, a clipping will probably be a little bit higher. So what, so what is a sine wave here? Let's say it has one joule of energy in that up wave, in that sine wave. Now the clipped wave will have uh, two uh, or even 2.5 joules because of all this is now going into the coil. And the other thing is, is that uh, this sine wave makes the coil rise in and out real smooth. This makes it jump. And so if you're getting uh, square wave after square wave after square wave, what ends up happening is the coil spends too much time out of the gap. See? So it gets hot. The other thing that helps keep it cool is actually the motion. Mmm, right in your butthole, you fuckers. I hate these fucking trolls that think they're fucking experts on this shit. I'm like, uh, how many woofers have you reconed? How, how long have you been studying this? Oh, you're an engineering student. Oh, so you don't really know anything about real life. You just know what you are regurgitating out of books that uh, were written in the 50s and 60s. Okay, gotcha. I understand. So I hope that explains it. And I, and I hope that you, you, it tells you guys that think you know better to fuck right off. Again, try it yourself. Send your amp into clipping by turning up the gain too loud, but then don't turn up the volume on your deck, okay, keep it very low. You can hear clipping, it'll sound distorted, but guess what, your woofer will play fine all day long, all day long, because it's not leaving the gap. So again, what kills voice coils? When they leave the gap. That's what kills voice coils, because if you just put this on the table and hook up whatever, one kilowatt to it, it's gonna fucking torch, it's gonna go up in smoke. 
And you, you can't do that. Don't do that because then the voice call is not good anymore. It's not usable anymore. So when you're doing that in a gap, that's that's what's happening. Okay? Hope that fuck, god damn it. I get so riled up about this because you guys don't fucking listen and you don't you, you gotta picture things in your head and you gotta think about what's really going on in real time and break it down. I'm sorry I don't have some fancy fucking graphic to show you on a computer. You gotta use your fucking imagination and, and set your amps by ear. Don't fall for that bullshit. It's, it's ironic that Tony DeMore, uh, I don't wanna say he invented it. He, he, he designed it and engineered it and then SMD sold it, that DD1 or whatever that is. When you talk to Tony in person as an engineer, he'll tell you it's a useless piece of shit, right? If he's telling the truth. But there's so many stupid people out there with too much money, it's easy to take away their money by giving them a device that makes them think that they're doing good. Because I get guys all the time, they go, oh, I set it with a, the digital voltmeter. I set it, you know, it's not clipping. But you don't counter in the fact that you're doing this too much. You're turning up the volume too fucking much. If you start to smell your coils, turn it down. You're pushing them too hard. You're asking too much of them. Now that could be for many reasons, right? Again, what that means is that they're leaving the gap, right? If the coil is getting hot and you're smelling it catch on fire, that is too hot to hold in your hand at that point if you can smell it. It's fucking burning. It's over 200 degrees, okay? You're doing it wrong. You're basing wrong, okay? Does he, you understand that, okay? You gotta turn it down, let them rest for an hour or whatever it is, and let them cool off, okay? <sighs> I feel better. I think I gotta jack off. I'm about three days over, so I, I gotta go take care of that. Get the, uh, what is it, the dragon's breath out of the dragon. I love you guys. Use common sense, love each other. Don't sit there and, and bicker about stuff that you really honestly don't know about. If you just read it in an engineering book, that's great, but go out in the world and practice it. And again, you don't need to, you don't need to go to college to be an engineer. Uh, I'm sure in some states technically to be licensed or uh, to be an engineer, and they tried to pull some bullshit like that here in Arizona. That is fucking garbage. You can still engineer something. You can still design something. Look at the George Lucas. He's he's designing buildings. He's doing architecture. He's he's making all kinds of products because he's a smart fucking person, and he observes. Jesus Christ. That's all you need to do to to make things better is observe and find out what's really going on, and then and then uh, observe and address. That's that's all that's all of life right there. Observe, observe the problem. Why is this getting hot? When it's, when it's in here and it's moving, it's fine. When it's out here, it's getting hot and burning up. Mm. So maybe we should avoid that. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking punch a baby. <sighs> I don't recommend punching a baby and I'm not saying you can't punch a baby. I'm saying it's probably not a good idea to punch a baby. That's all, I love you, bye.